Hi, so we're, we're just about to get ready to play uh, Innovation with, and by we it's me and my wife, Nellie. And um, I thought I'd film a little bit of this experience, partially because um, I've been trying to blog lately about my thoughts about this new expansion, Figures in the Sand, which I was reticent to get in the first place, but um, there was a sale. And I, I wanted to support uh, a local shop. And yes. I think your wife encouraged you. Did you encourage me? Yeah. You weren't there. Yeah, I was there. You were there. Oh. I think I was the one that said, maybe you should get this. Maybe I, no, I no, because I brought it to you and I said, um, I got maybe this. Maybe you asked me my ear, my I got this and, and I, you know, I wasn't going to get it, but I decided I would get it because it was there on sale. Uh, anyway. So I supported the local shop at 20% off, and then I had it, and so I've been kind of trying to think about my thoughts about it, um, and I haven't really worded it very well, but when I was talking to Nellie the other night, she gave some really good thoughts um, and worded them well, and so not to pressure her into like re recreating that moment, but I thought maybe if we filmed intermittently uh, while we were playing, that maybe some some good thoughts would come out. It's the end of a work week for me and for her, so we're kind of tired. But it's it's going to be fun to play innovation. This is this is the game we play together most of any other game, right? Probably the only game we've played together just one on one. Except when we're playing e head games. Womano. Um, <laughs> since games. Uh, for the last few months, yeah. Other than the mind games and the romper room in kindergarten games. Did I ever tell you about that story about the romper room in kindergarten games? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, actually, before I stop it, we should, do you want to talk a little bit about what you think of innovation? While we're finishing the setup here? Mm. What do you think about the game innovation? Well, I'm sure I've told you on numerous occasions what I think about the game. I know, but we're talking in front of a camera for the benefit of the viewers. That's a little too spontaneous. A little too spontaneous? As well, I mean, you didn't ask me what I think of the expansion. Like, just what do I think about you the wanna, innovation? You want to just talk about the expansion, then? Let's talk about, let's not talk about the game innovation, because we obviously like it, we play it a lot. What do we, th and, but we're also playing, we've been playing with figures in the sand since I think we moved into this new house, right? I don't know that we've played a game without figures in the sand. You and me. I've played with other people without it, but we no, did it, we did it in Seattle, but not here. Not here. Here we only played with figures in the sand. Because the time I got it was around the time we started gaming again a little bit. Um... So what are your thoughts no. on this, this expansion so far? Yes. Well, it's funny. If I imagine going back to not having the green expansion, uh -huh. I would feel deflated. I would feel like a sense of loss. But we played with brown and blue in Seattle after we played Figures in the Sand. How did that feel to you? Did you feel a sense of loss? Or you mean just like I never think, having um, it again? Now, this is oh, your card. Now having played with the green, with two expansions, it's funny because suddenly then the one expansion feels simplified. Or simpler. You know? Like, after we had the first expansion, thinking of just playing with the brown cards seemed kind of, for lack of a better word, empty. Even uh -huh. though it's a great game without any expansions. I've been enjoying my games with the, the child that I've been playing with just the brown cards. Oh. Um, but yeah, yeah I, like if I was playing with you, I wouldn't want to do that. I don't know. Um, okay, well I appreciate your thoughts. Let's come back later uh, after we've played a little bit. Should we set like a time limit? Like where we just come back after 20 minutes? I'll go set the kitchen timer. In 20 minutes, we'll just come back and talk about whatever's going on. Yeah, but and let's, how we feel let's in our hearts. Um, 
we should have like a sign for that. Like we'll be back in, you know, we'll be back not two and two, but like we're gonna we'll be uh, back. Twenty in minutes will have zero. a little more than twenty minutes will have elapsed because I'll need to start the timer, and then I'll need to stop the timer, and then we'll start filming and talk about what's going on in our game. Uh, it's head to head. We'll be back in two zero. In two zero <laughs> minutes plus a little bit of seconds. All right, the, the buzzer just went off in the middle of Nellie's turn, and she took an achievement um, because she has castles, right? That's how you did it. So now I draw one of these just because she took an achievement. And this is one of, uh, it's kind of um, fitting that that happened right during this video, this, uh, this filming time, because that's, that's kind of one of the things that bothers me about this new expansion, that there's this, it feels like this artificial sort of balancer. Um, with the game that I get to draw a card just because she is done well. Okay, there are other like um, more natural feeling balancers in the game. Like, for example, I'm able to I was able to jump ahead of her right off the bat. If you saw the cards I showed you, I started out with two cards that both let me start with a, a card that lets me draw from the second age. Um, writing in the ruler, they're they're basically the same. Their effects. Um, and so, I, of course, I used one of them, and so I jumped ahead in age right away, but then Nelly had a card that let her um, take a card from my hand so that she could catch up. So that, that feels like a more natural way to balance out, to, to, keep me, to keep one person from running away with the game. And it, re it requires like being able to see that, that you can use that card to do that and piece that together yourself. And I feel like a lot of these cards let you balance the game because they have these kind of unpredictable ways you can use them. And they're, they're powerful in a way if you, if you can come up with the way to use them. That I feel like that's a lot more satisfying than just me getting to draw this card because she took an achievement. Although that, that just changes the playing field. It just feels like, a, it feels like an unnecessary restriction. I gotta go stop the beepers, otherwise it keeps beeping, but maybe Nelly can say a few words on that while I'm gone. Well, so our oven has a little clock that you can, well, it's a timer that you can set, and it, it beeps when the time is up. So that's what Joe's referring to when he says the beeper. It's kitchen timer setting on the microwave that came with the house we bought. So, um, what do you think about the, the fact that I get to draw a card just because you took an achievement? Um, as, a, as, a, as a change in the game. The game wasn't always that way. I don't mind it at all. It doesn't bother you. And it just kind of takes it as it comes. Now, but the problem for me is I don't have another solution. I, I, I guess I haven't done any research because I'm kind of trying to see this game uh, and this expansion without reading what anyone else's thoughts are about it or anything like that. Um, maybe there's another way to draw these green cards that someone has come up with or maybe even the designer has come up with an alternate way. I know he, he changed the way you draw blue cards once upon a time and I like the change a lot better. I wonder if there isn't another... So I think that the trouble was is getting the green cards into your hand, but you don't want to be able to get them as, as easily as you can get brown and blue, you know? Uh, so there's that. So you don't have much of an opinion on it. I kind of gave my opinion on that matter. Would you like to talk about what's going on in the game right now? Maybe people want to know that. I feel like we're pretty tied so far. Um. I think we're kind of even. See, I think one of the frustrating things about innovation, if it's ever frustrating, is that um, if someone, if your opponent builds their hand quickly and starts to splay early, you can spend much of a game just running to stand still. And that's, that can be frustrating, even though the interaction of the mechanics is interesting to feel like you can never catch up, you can never have um, enough icons to do anything to make any demand. Um, can I jump I in here? No, I don't really personally love, love being in that place. The, those games, though, I, 
it's not just because I don't like losing, actually. Um, this game can be a lot of fun, even if you do lose. So, in that regard, the green cards are nice. They make it so that um, while the other person's advancing, building their, maybe their, playing more quickly and building their hand better and achieving, it, it um, gives the, the weaker person um, a, a glint of hope. Well, so what the context in which what you were just talking about is interesting because um, the other the other way you draw these green cards is if someone copies you. So the last time we played, I don't know if you knew it, but I was I was actually trying to keep to have less icons than you so that I could get green cards. And I feel like that that kind of balancing mechanism works better than the drawing, you know, getting a green card just because you drew an achievement. I felt like, because then... Okay, but do you think that's really a good strategy? Because I don't know, maybe I'm not, maybe I haven't been very observant, but I, I, I'm not feeling that either of us have been winning games um, through... Like the green exploiting cards? the green cards, but you can. You, I mean, it, you sure, totally can. You can because you can. What you got to do is you have to. It doesn't seem to be what you have to use these these uh, decrees, right? You know, like if you, you know, with the green cards, you can you can splay up in like towards the beginning of the game, which is super powerful. And if you use the advancement card right, you can just jump way ahead. I think I did that last game. And that was that was what helped me. I, I don't know. I feel like I, I kind of like the copying, letting you draw. I feel like that's okay. That doesn't doesn't really make sense with the subject matter. And that's a whole other thing with this this new expansion, is it changes I think the tone of the game in terms of the subject matter, because you're going from all these kind of like ideas, you know, these inventions, these ideas to to actual people. I've tried to rationalize it with myself with myself by saying that they're actually uh, ideas of people, you know, how people kind of become an idea, they kind of become mythologized, they become like a folk tale. Um, so I, I, I appreciate what you're saying there. It's nice to be able to, to come back into it, but I feel like the game has routes for that already. And for me, it's not satisfying to come back because there's some like hand of God that pushes my butt up and lifts me up. I feel like the tools should be there, but I should have to use those tools. And I guess I guess that's kind of how it is, because if you draw the card, that's not necessarily boosting you up. Um, I guess the, the copy draw feels better to me than the, the achievement draw, because you're already drawing a card if someone copies you. That's something you already get to do. So it's not like you're drawing an extra card, it's just the color just changes to green instead. So what's happened in our game so far that we've been playing? You had an interesting opening gambit. I would love it if you would tell the viewers about it with the masonry. You start out with masonry. The first several turns in the game, what did you do? I hoarded brown one cards. Yeah, so I had jumped ahead to era three pretty quickly, and Nelly was just drawing cards again and again and again. And I had built up my board, and then suddenly she she throws out this masonry, and then she's no, I threw out masonry. Well, masonry was her first card, and then I hoarded like the next ten or eleven cards, and then I melded seven cards with castles, even though the requirement was and boom four instant board instant board buildup to get the monument. Yeah. So she got an achievement and built up the board, and so like it seemed like I was in the lead at, at first, but then she just kind of did this. Hey, I've got a package for you. It's a surprise. Boom! I'm just as powerful as you, and I'm not afraid of you either. Right? That was kind of what I felt like, like from my perspective. All right, let's um, come back in 40 minutes. Should we come back in 40 minutes. I feel like we've talked a lot. We can have a bigger jump in time. Maybe we could have some chocolate. 40 minutes. You want to say your, your, your tagline thing? 
We'll be back in four, zero. All right, well, the game just won depressingly early. Not depressing in that it had to do with any bad play on anyone's part, but just that I enjoy playing this game. The act of it is fun. And to end it, and I don't get to play, well, I we play about once a week, which is pretty good. Um, but I enjoy playing games with my wife. And this is a this is a shorter game than usual because I did a sneak attack to win with the with the help of Niccolo Machiavelli. He lets you um, count any card you or any color you have displayed right as an achievement. I already had four achievements. I managed to display four colors right, which gave me the victory. I don't think Nelly even saw Machiavelli coming. Did you know? She didn't even know. I'm explaining it now to her for the first time. Lean in so the camera can see you. See how she feels? That's really sad. And we were having a good time, weren't we? She was doing lots of great stuff. She was really mounting a huge comeback. Um, and I was, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm very sleepy, so. Yeah, don't she's feel bad. sleepy. It's it's kind of late. Yeah, you should feel very bad. I'm late. Yeah, should I feel bad? I didn't do anything wrong. But it, I shortened the game, and that's something. This, the green cards definitely changed the, um, the pattern of the game, right? There, there's a lot of, they have some, they have some, like potent powers in a different like axes. It can go a totally different way um, than you necessarily expect. I, whenever a green card comes up, I make sure to read it, and it's hard. One thing about innovation, I think that. Um, kind of separates players is whether they're whether or not they're reading what the other player has, whether or not they know what the other player has. And you know, I myself I I know what Nelly has about half the time. Cuz you there's so much so many possibilities that you yourself are dealing with. Like I had all these cards in my hand and they all have like unique text. So to go through all of that and know what's on my board uh is one thing. But you also have to know what's on their board, and that's that's hard to do in this game, I think. And it's even harder to do when you have these green cards. One thing that's nice about the green cards is it's like a little flag that says, read this because you might not know what it does. You don't know what it does, and it's probably something that could mess you up. Um, but it's very easy just to kind of be absorbed in yourself. I feel like that's that's kind of how it is with, with humans interacting with each other as well. There's so much stuff that you have to deal with in your own head, in your own life, that it's hard to really hear what other people are saying. Um, do you have any final thoughts you want to say about either just the expansion or our game that we just played? Um, I do have a final thought. You should thought, lean forward, and, though. And my final thought is really on neither of those. Um, actually, I just wanted to say that I think if you have really poor vision, this is not the game for you. Because mm. if you do want to do well, then you really do need to look across the board at your your opponent's hand, and you need to read upside down what their cards say and do. Well, or, you just got to pick them up and look at them. you have to badger them to tell you about every one of their cards that they play, and every time they dogma... Say, I disagree. You just pick it up do? and you look at it. You pick it up and you read. Sure. Sure. Just pick it up and read. You just I. So I think I have a different outlook because I I I've been around people playing Magic the Gathering and this game was influenced by that game. And Magic the Gathering, what a lot of people do is when someone plays a card, they will just like be like, may I? There's like a certain etiquette I think where they're like, may I read your card? Or something, but generally you can just like look at someone's card and, and you just look at it. Mm -hmm. But go. some people might feel like kind of like you're reaching across their plate to grab the salt. But that's that's a that's a different sort of etiquette. That's food etiquette. Mm -hmm. And really, between us, mm -hmm. Nelly, if we I were some people if we like were that. eating and I was to grab over and reach over and grab something off your plate and take a bite, that would be okay. 
Because that's the sort of etiquette we've established. Okay, but strangely, sometimes when you reach over and grab one of my cards, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, why are you grabbing my hand? Well, I'm grabbing it because it's I want to know what it says. It's just an instinct. It's a conditioned instinct. I want to know what this guy it does. It might come from other gameplay of, like, poker. Like, you don't touch someone else's hand. You, you don't pick up their cards. Well, but that's if it's in their hand, like it's hidden. But if it's on, if it's like... That was my closing thought, my final thought. Okay, I won't say anything to it then. That's her final thought, let that be. My final thought <laughs> is, um, I... I'm still not totally over my, my problems with the draw card, with the achievement thing. But I do enjoy the, um, the green expansion more than I thought I would. Um, definitely opens up the game to the the wilderness. I, I look at it at the wilderness, despite the fact that it has some weird constraints that, and that's what what bothers me about it. I wish there was more wilderness, less constraint. I don't know how that can be done. Um, maybe I should put my brain power to that instead of uh, coming up with like my thoughts on the game as is. Maybe I should put my brain power to how could this game work better. Uh, but I feel like that's that's pouring a lot of water down a hole that's not my hole. I don't know. Thanks for playing. Thanks for having me.